Hello Divination and welcome. So this week in our Divi Design Initiative, we're giving away another free layout pack and this time it's a business layout pack. I will leave a link in the show notes below so you can go ahead and download it and use it in your own designs. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how to download, install it and apply it to your website. Okay, so to download the layout pack, what you need to do is to go to the link which I've provided in the show notes below. So that link will take you to this, to this page and all you have to do is to scroll all the way down until you find an opt-in form. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added my email in the opt-in form and this is the button that you get. So you get this pink button, all you have to do is to click the, the button to download the layout pack. Now, once you click the button, automatically a zipped folder will be downloaded onto your computer. So what you want to do next is to go ahead and unzip that folder. So once you unzip it, go into your website dashboard, come all the way down here to Divi, click on Divi library, because this is now time to import all these layouts. So I'm going to click import and export, click on import, choose. Now we have to navigate to the folder which we unzipped our files and they should look something like this. So what we have here is we have the single pages. So we have portfolio, landing, home, contact, blog, about and pricing. Now the reason why we've done this this way is if you only want to download so let's say a specific page you can just go ahead and download it here. But uh, the way I do it is I download all the pages. So we ha also have a file which allows you to download all the pages all at once because this, you know, saves you time uploading these one by one. So that's this file here called business underscore all dot JSON. Right. So I'm going to click on this because I need to download all the pages. So I'm going to click on open and then I'm going to import Divi Builder Layout. This should take a moment. Once it's all imported, you'll see all these layouts in your DV library. And here they are. So all these other pages that we have, now that they're in the library, all we have to do now is to go and create a brand new page and then import these layouts and continue building our website. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So I'm just going to call this new landing. Click on use the Divi Builder. And then I'm going to come over here to load from library and click on add from library. So you can see here that these are all the pages that we just imported. So you have to just go in and choose the, the pages that you want to use. So in this case, because our page is called new landing, I'm going to come here and choose the landing page. So I'm going to click on load. And that's all the elements that we need for our page. So this page is complete. And to see that, we're going to click, I'm going to click publish and do a quick preview. Okay, so now that everything is published, I'm gonna click on view page and this is our landing page. So I'm just gonna scroll through and see all the contents. So you can see here, it's all well designed. We have some animations. So you can actually go in and change the contents of this landing page without changing the structure. So you can go in each module, change all the images, change the text, and make it fit your design. So let me show you quickly how you can do that. So now that we have our page loaded, all you have to do is to come over here to Enable Visual Builder, and then you can just select each module that you need to make changes to and make those changes. So let's say we want to make a change to this part of our page. So all you have to do is to come to this gear icon here to access the module settings and you can start changing the title. So you can see here as I'm typing, my title is being updated. Okay, so the button, you could call this download now, for example. Okay, save. And if you need to change the background image, you can always come here to this gear icon, click on background and delete that and add your background image. So it's highly customizable. You can change this and make it fit your company. To add more pages to your website, all you have to do is to follow step by step what I did in this example to add your other pages. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.